Most people grow up in average everyday families, two adults and 2.5 children. Normally these folk are sure about their sexuality and gender and are what they appear to others. That's pretty reassuring, don't you think? It must feel good to be one of those people, straight and serene. But not everyone's like that. Some folk, however, have different sexualities and genders than what were expected. This video talks about those people, not the regular folk. Some females like to have sex and intimate friendships with other females. These people are called lesbians, lesos, lemons, dykes, inverts and other names. Some males like to have sex and intimate friendships with other males. These people are called homosexuals, gays, queers, poofs, queens and fruits. Not all males who like other males are homosexual, however. Nor are all females who like other females lesbian either. They could be just mates, good buddies, friends, bisexual, or just very close. Some people don't have the gender that people expect them to have either. These people are called transgender or transsexual. Some people might start out to look like the gender everyone expects them to be. But later, they might look rather different to this. They might look like what the other gender looks like. You see, normally we get told that girls have a certain body shape. That they have this and that and something else. And we also get told that boys have another different complementary shape. That they don't have that, but they do have this. Sometimes though, someone we think of as a girl will look at the shape we normally consider being for boys and knowing that this should be their shape. Likewise, someone we think of as a boy will look at the shape we usually consider being for girls and know that this should be their shape. The female person who knows that they're a boy can change their dress and appearance. They can also take male hormones. They won't get certain bits though unless they have a lot of surgery. that they're a girl can change their dress and appearance too. They can also take female hormones. They won't get certain bits though unless they have a different type of surgery and some bits they never get. Then if they're lucky and have enough strength of character and wherewithal they can grow old and happy being the gender they know themselves to be. Isn't that a good thing for them? Aren't you happy that you're not one of these different people who do this, even though you may have a friend or a relative or loved one who has? Life sure can be confusing sometimes. The main thing is being able to appreciate the differences.